Top 10 Romance Animes with Happy Endings Hello and welcome back fellow geniuses to another exciting video. If you're tuning into this video, it means you're an anime lover. And one of the most loved genres in anime is the romance genre, which has outgrown the default narrative of being watched only by girls. Nowadays, all age groups and genders watch and enjoy the romance genre. In this video, we will be talking about the top 10 romance animes with happy endings. Before we get into it, please do like and subscribe and smash that notification bell to get notified the next time we drop a top 10 video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10, Tsukigakirei. Final year of junior high comes with new events, new plots, and new twists. Upcoming writer Kotaru alongside his track teammate Akane find themselves in the same class. Starting off as strangers, a couple of spontaneous encounters birth and drive an inner passion within their hearts. However, just like every other love story, there would most certainly be the appearance of challenges. The path to love is never straightforward. Not regarding the inner peace and comfort they derive by being with each other, they are faced with heartache and anxiety as they pursue the love and attraction in their hearts. Amidst all of this, it takes Kotaru's courageous stance under the shining light of a luminous moon to ask Akane his love attraction, the one question that changes their lives forever. This anime is a love story between two compromising adults, which tends to be more realistic than more mature TV shows that have been released. One thing commendable about this show is its high level of relatability, especially in the issues of first love. It's one of the more innocent animes out there. Number 9. Wotakoi One in every seven persons is probably an otaku in the issues of love. Most people find nerds and otaku to be major turnoffs. This is the pure result of the misconceptions and mishaps currently in society. A sad case of stereotyping. Skipping all of her scheduled alarms, Narumi Momose is found running late for her first day of work at her new workplace. While she's running to catch her train, she reminds herself of the promise she made to herself. That none of her colleagues at work will find out about her dark secret. Narumi is an otaku and a fujoshi. Her plan meets a bumpy start when she runs into her old schoolmate Hirotaka Nifuji, an old friend from middle school. She does everything in her power to hide her secret from coming out, where she casually tries to invite him out for drinks after work. However, her cover is eventually blown when he suddenly asks her if she'll be going to the upcoming summer comicette. This surprisingly marks the beginning of one of the most awkward love stories. A love story between two otakus. Will this romance be hard? Watch the show to find out. Number 8. The world is still beautiful. Nikkei Le Mercier is the fourth and youngest princess from the land of the Rain Dukedom. Despite her refusal, she is forced to marry the Sun King Livius. Not for a continual relationship, but for the sake of her country. She then travels to the Sun Kingdom for her marriage. She believed that she wasn't meant to be in that kingdom. Time, however, proves how wrong this thought was. Livius Ifriqia, the king Princess Nikkei was to get married to, was a very influential king as he had conquered the whole world, expanding the Sun Kingdom's influence and reach all within the three years that he had served in the capacity of a king. His interest in Nikkei grew upon his learning about the powers the people of the Rain Dukedom had to create rain. The moment Nikkei meets King Livius, she discovers that he's a totally different person from what she had heard about him, as a cruel, wicked, and authoritarian leader. With this, I'm sure you're already anxious to know what comes next. Watch the series and learn the virtue of not having to judge every book by its cover. Number 7. Josie, the Tiger and the Fish Tsunio is a young man with big dreams, and one night he meets with a disabled woman called Josie on his way back from work. At the beginning, their relationship was more like that of cats and dogs, but it becomes better the moment they begin to communicate and understand each other better. This anime's main theme is about going after your dreams irrespective of whatever challenge or setback you may face as a result. This movie qualifies in every way to be a part of this countdown being that this is a romance with a happy ending worth your time. Trust us and give it a watch. Number 6. Bakuman Moritaka Mashiro had always dreamt of being a mangaka ever since his childhood. 
He had always looked up to his uncle and childhood hero Taro Kawaguchi, who was the brain behind a popular gag manga. Sadly, when tragedy strikes, he put his dream on hold and decides to spend his middle school days studying, focused on earning salaries instead. On one occasion, his classmate Akito, an aspiring writer and one of the school's finest, notices the drawings from Moritaka's notebook. Akito then approaches him, asking that they should become a mangaka together. Moritaka finally agrees to this proposal, believing that with this opportunity, he may be able to get the attention of his crush. The duo then join forces with the aim of being one of the greatest mangaka in Japan. Even though the romance is not the main point of the show, it is however a worthwhile experience, watching how two different relationships start off and thrive within the same space. Number 5. Oregairu This show is simply about a worn out or exhausted self-meaning high school boy who is faced with a compulsion to help other people with their problems. He strongly believes that a happy youth is a commonly told lie and everyone who says so is delusional. He finds himself attracted to a fellow club member. Watch this TV show and find out who will win this battle of love. P.S. This show is great for introverted people as they'll be able to relate to the guy. So, Yukino-chan is <laughs> Number 4. Planets Many believe that this anime is an underrated phenomenon which should be getting more recognition and attention than it's currently getting now. The two main characters confess their feelings for each other at the middle point of the show. Their relationship then takes a backseat advancing into the story of the anime and is a major propeller as to how it advances. Planets qualifies in every way as a romance story with a happy ending and one thing very commendable is the prolific story writing. You're trying to tell me that the DS-12 is that old? Toy box? What? Real spacers never call a name by its <laughs> number! DS-12, DS-12, this is ISBV7. Number 3. Nodame Kantabile Shinichi Chiaki is the main character of this anime. He has a strong desire to play among the elites in Europe. It so happens to be very ironic that the only thing stopping Shinichi is his phobia of flying, thus keeping him grounded in Japan. During his fourth year, he comes in contact with Nodame, an exceptional pianist whose music seems to have major effect on Shinichi. At the end and despite all odds, they end up falling in love with each other. This anime deserves this spot on our list as it is a beautiful, solid romance story. Number 2, Horimiya. This one right here is a very popular anime, and if you're familiar with it, you'll agree that the imagination of Kyoko and Izumi getting along was a far fetched thought in everyone's mind. However, an encounter they both had pushes the two to reveal themselves in every true intention. Their opposing personalities is what seemed to be the very reason why they became friends very quickly and began to spend most of their time in each other's company. If you enjoy romance comedy just like Kaicho wa Maid-sama, then you would want to watch Horimiya. Sorry, but there it is. You wanted an example of me getting super flustered, right? Doesn't get much more flustered than that. Number 1. Your Name Mitsuha is a young high school girl who always desired to live the life of a boy in the city of Tokyo. At the other end of the city is Taki, a high school student who balances his schoolwork with his part-time job. There is however a major plot twist as both characters wake up one day finding themselves in the other one's body. This drives a series of confusing thoughts down the minds of these two. They then decide to embark on a quest to find answers to this strange occurrence, which eventually lead them to go on searching for each other. Makoto Shinkai really outdid himself on this work, as it is one of the best anime movies to have ever been released. The issue of whether it has a happy ending or not is dependent on the viewer, but in a holistic scope, it does have a very happy ending. The story, the romance, the artwork, everything about this anime warrants it the number one spot on our list. And with that, we've come to the end of our list for this video. Do you think that there's other animes out there that deserve to be on this spot instead of these? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that bell icon to get notified the next time we drop a top 10 video. 
That's all for this one, and see you in the next video, fellow geniuses.